mentioned some Wayne Grohl fight. The subject is why won't they fire him? Sammy Guevara has been suspended by AEW. For anyone listening to this on the podcast, no, this is an episode of Rehatch. Sammy Guevara really has been suspended again. Think about this. He got suspended for the dumb Sasha Banks comments, which was admittedly. He has nuclear heat from badly botching Matt Hardy twice within 10 days. He publicly threatened Andrade and then fought him backstage. Weirdly, Andrade got suspended there. He got into a fight with Eddie Kingston backstage and put to a suspension, and now he's suspended yet again for performing his moves on a knocked-out Jeff Hardy. So my question is, why the F hasn't Tony Khan fired someone that's clearly a problem? Sammy has nothing to the product. I hear he's getting paid a high figure, so he gets get, so get him out of there before someone ends up hurt so badly they don't recover. Could it be that Mega Mark Tony Khan keeps letting him get away with this because TK is an a- mark that thinks wrestlers are his real life friends? I mean, there's photos online and professionally, there's photos online and professionally taken photos of TK dancing with him at Sammy and Ty's wedding. Um, yeah, Sammy Guevara is getting into the yo. Know, this is his problem now. He's very young, and when his deal is up with AEW, okay, you know he's gonna be, he's gonna have some options. But like the WWE might be looking at this guy as like you know, hey, you're coming in on a uh, on, on like a, a, a probationary period. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're coming like, like maybe like the, the kind of like the uh, under the microscope the punk is under. Yeah, like you have because... to be perfect behavior, or else, you know, we're, we're, we're giving you just one last chance, bro. He has been suspended a lot. Yeah, how many fights is it? Was it just him and Kingston, and that's the only one? Or is there something else I'm not remembering? Yeah, him and Andrade. Right? Him and Andrade. Right, right, right. right. What happened what with him and that? Kingston? I don't even remember that. Well, what happened? Well, remember, he called him. Um, he he called him fat. Yeah, they got... Kingston got mad, body shaming, and they had words backstage. Yeah, like a pull apart. Like, you know, yeah. Since <laughs> so, bro, the guy saying that he took pictures of Tony <laughs> dancing with them at their wedding. Yeah. If the boss, if the boss likes you, you're bulletproof until you really, when he has no choice. And it's like I've always said, and I will continue to say, and this is for everybody present, company included. When you like somebody, they can do no wrong. And when you don't like somebody, they can do no right. Right. Yeah. That's uh, all there is to it. You know, there's a little, there's a piece of this Sammy story that you guys might have been aware of, but I wasn't. It says the suspension from the discipline committee was due to the fact that Sammy was told to end the match. And rather than ending it immediately, he went up and did his finisher. And that's where, you know, he hit him, you know, badly or whatever. But so that's the suspension isn't for the, isn't for the injury. It's for the the disobedience, insubordination. Well, yes, it's just unprofessionalism under when you've already been suspended. That, that's what he's got suspended for again. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100 with my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!